Hello and welcome to Selfie Torah. I was in the coffee bean earlier this week and I was getting myself a drink, as I often do. And you know, you get your drink, you get your coffee, you go over to the station where they have the milk and the creamer and you pour it in. And then sometimes you take a straw or one of those wooden stirs they have. I usually don't even bother doing that. And you stir your drink. And you take a drink. But one day this week as I'm there, I see a guy, he gets his drink, he goes over to the station, he grabs like, I don't know, six things, and just gives a quick stir and walks out. And this really bothered me. I don't know, maybe it shouldn't have bothered me that much. After all, this guy did just pay $4.60 for his tea latte, and the extra wooden stirs he took might have cost a penny and a half. But it bothered me for the simple reason that there was just no thought process involved. There was so little concern for the fact that there is someone else's property, and if I need a stir, I should take a stir, but taking six does not help make my coffee any better mixed. It got me, and it got me thinking, the, the Torah is such a helpful tool for this. This week's Torah portion is Mishpatim. Mishpatim is a bunch of technical nitty-gritty laws about details and damages and people's money and people's property. But what it does, aside from the actual rules, is it teaches us to think twice about people's money. It teaches us to stop and think, wait, a penny, half a penny, but someone's property is someone's property. And I wish that someone would have taught this fellow, kids do it all the time, but this guy was an adult. I wish someone had taught him that. Concern for someone else's property. And just don't do things that are unnecessary with other people's property, even if it's not going to bankrupt the company. I hope Coffee Bean thanks me for this. And I hope you have an Aguila Shabbat. <laughs>